All right. Um, so just this morning, uh, we had um, something come up that uh, I think we can use this solution quite a bit in the future. Um, so we have this board form kind of layered concrete. Uh, you can see the pattern there on this surface on the uh, exterior elevations. It kind of has these wavy lines and these tick marks on it. If we look at uh, the surface settings for that, um, that has a surface color and this pattern. The thing about surfaces is that the, the pattern, uh, a typical fill in ARCHICAD has a foreground and a background pen, um, but on surfaces we really only have uh, control over the pen used for the foreground of that pattern. Um, we can, however, apply this surface color to the pattern, um, and if we do that here, um, let me, uh, I should have this reserved ahead of time, but if we go to the settings of this marker, of this elevation, um, we can go to the model display settings and we could say the uncut elements are going to show uh, their own surface colors. Um, and then we get that gray pattern, but then we have to juggle all of the other surfaces so that, uh, you know, if this wood needs to be white, obviously this, this metal and concrete and pieces, glass got darker because it uniformly changes all surfaces in the elevation. Uh, and then on top of that, this surface is kind of a bluish color. It doesn't really match any of our pen sets. Uh, so it's really tedious and tiresome to uh, use the uncut um, surface color. So it's better to leave this as a uniform pen color using uh, ideally pen 91 or, or any white pen, just so the surface is default to a white color uh, for the background color of those. Uh, now these surfaces, obviously those are gray because they have like say a screen fill, a 25% fill or 50% fill with a, a gray pen color. Uh, what we can do though, to uh, to change this surface color is under a uh, document and graphic overrides graphic override combinations uh, that I can't reserve this here but I can show you what we did on the elevations we added a graphic override rule that says concrete background will turn gray when we look at that rule it says that any element type that's using that surface is going to override the fill background pen for surfaces now these three different uh, fill types here, that's drafting fills, that's surface fills or uncut fills, uh, and this is cut fills or building materials. The only thing that we're overriding uh, in this rule is that uh, any element using this surface is going to override the background fill for the uncut surface to be pen 53, for example. Uh, and then we applied that to the elevations uh, graphic override. Uh, currently, I'm viewing this elevation with the plan graphic override, which doesn't have that rule applied. Um, so by applying this elevations graphic override, uh, wait a couple of seconds, then we get that gray fill without touching or impacting any other surfaces or fills uh, on the exterior elevation. Uh, this is a great way to apply a background color to just selective surfaces without messing up um, all the other surfaces, without having to have a really complex um, or, or, uh, or detailed fill that's going to bog your file down, something like a, a really tight stipple or something like that. Uh, this is a really great way just to say the background for this surface is going to uh, not fall under its default for this view type.